Adventures. Welcome back to another episode of Home Cooking with me, Chef Celeste. So today, Angels, I'm making brunch. We're having cream, eggs, grilled cheese, and mimosas, drunken mimosas. Cause you know I like it tipsy. So let's get started. Okay, so when I said that I was making a drunken mimosa, I absolutely meant it. So here I have fresh squeezed orange juice, fresh squeezed mango juice, we have the champagne, we have tequila, we have rum, and we have country. So let's get started. So first I'm going to add some orange juice, two cups of this orange juice here. A cup of the mango juice. I'm going to pour some champagne. I'm going to add like two ounces of each one of these just to To the give it a stir. I think it needs to be a little bit drunker than this. It don't seem drunk enough. So we just gonna make this a little bit drunker. We're gonna add some more. We add a little bit more champagne. And some more of these. Make it nice and drunk. Stir it up. And put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. What we have here is um, my potato bread. I made uh, two loaves. This is one loaf that I made. And I was really like disappointed in it, but it's gonna get eaten anyway. It um I, I think I, I overproved it, and that means that I let it rise too long. And this is how it turned out. It uh, deflated here in the center, which I'm thinking that's probably what this bread does. I'm not really sure. It, it was shaped really nice and everything, but it was just like not one of my favorites and not my best. So I'm, I'm passing on this one for, for tonight. And I'm going to use this one here. The joy of, of, of baking this bread is that you get to see your family members and your friends eat it. So this is what I'm going to make the cream eggs grilled cheese on. Anyway, I'm, I want to cut it just to see. So, I mean, it, it looks good on the inside. It's not as tight a crumb, but it looks good on the inside. It might even be a um, good bread to eat. I just didn't like the aesthetics of it. So, I'm going to use this one. Looks like cartoon bread. I love it. So, let me cut this loaf of bread. You can talk to Okay. And so, this is the heel. I won't use that. But I will use this. These two. It's actually a technique for slicing bread. So, first you start off with your knife vertical, then turn it horizontal. And there you have it. These two slices of bread are what is what I'm going to use for my sandwich. Up of these chives, and um, then I have to um, put the eggs together. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to uh, prepare the eggs. Two eggs. I have some Dijon mustard, uh, chives that go in at the end, some heavy whipping cream. I have um, black salt and black pepper. This is uh, saffron 
that I am adding uh, to this dish. I, I just like the taste of it when I was testing out the recipe. So, and it's blooming in just a couple drops of water. Adding two eggs. I'm going to two eggs. Um, some heavy whipping cream. Black sea salt. Uh, it's not from the Black Sea. This is actually like lava salt. And uh, Keziah's friends gave it to me. So this is my first time trying it in this recipe and these eggs. So now we're being adventurous. And I'm going to beat this in and just add the saffron. Look how beautiful the color is. And what I'm going to do here is just make a nice cream. So when you when you make this, make sure that you um, cream the eggs real good. You, you don't want to like beat them like you would and get a whole lot of air in them. You just want to make them nice and creamy and no whites. Okay? So now we're going to head on over to the stove and get these babies cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, tell you all what I have over here. I have the cheese. I have two slices, four, actually four slices of American cheese. I have some ghee and some Gruyere and butter. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, get this bread buttered for the uh, grilled cheese. Because I like to put um, butter on both sides of the bread. It's my technique for grilled cheese. I'll show y'all how I do it. I have the skillet warm and I'm gonna uh, just add the bread. The bread is spreading. Okay, now for the fun part, the eggs. So, what I have to do, I got the skillet down low. I'm gonna add some, some ghee. And so, to make these eggs and make them successfully, it's good to have a, a non-stick skillet. And this tea fall one works just perfect for me. And what I'm learning about these eggs is that you want to cook them kind of low and slow. You have to like cook the eggs. Don't let it just sit on the fire because you don't want them to um, lose all of the moisture. But you do want them to cook. So you see how creamy they are. And usually like you'll know that they are ready. When... When you can pull pull a just separate them like that. So let me cut this off, and I can add some gear. Just a little more. Get them nice and creamy. Some people like their eggs creamier, but this is the consistency that I like mine. Okay, and now for the last part, I'm sprinkling some chives. Give it a little bit more black pepper. Because that's how I like it. Look at how beautiful and golden and crusty this bread turns out. Okay, so I'm going to put my um, two slices of cheese on both sides. Damn, that's going to be stuck at the roof of your mouth forever. Add a little bit of butter to the skillet. And y'all can see I like butter. So I'm just going to spoon the eggs on here. It is. Oh my god. 
I think these are your best cream. Oh my god. So now I'm gonna let this toast up nice and crusty and not burnt. <laughs> How do you prevent it from doing that then? Turn it down low. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you would add a meat to it, what would it be? What what meat would go good with this? Bacon. Mm -hmm. For all of you that eat it. But would you like even like chop the bacon up so it's like falls I would in make crosshatch. Mm. Let's get this plated up. Let's get the um the mimosas poured. And once we do that, I'll be right back. I'm back and let's cut this in half here. Oh, um, can open it up so I can see. All right, that looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I did it. This is the brunch, and what is a brunch without a cake? Here I have my raspberry jam crumb cake. And so let me get these mimosas and pour it up. So I'm gonna add a cube of hot frozen orange juice. I better start this, huh? Give it a little one more last start. Where's that champagne in? Let me pour the rest of that in here. Oh, so you you trying to get drunk drunk. This is a drunken one. <laughs> that ex sounds so good. That's so pretty. Okay. Don't these just look beautiful and fun to drink? I'm gonna put that one in there. Because I'm gonna drink it. Okay. So let's talk about what we have. We have um, have a little uh, triple berry, fresh berries here, and um, this this wonderful cream egg grilled cheese and a ras this raspberry uh, crumb cake. So let me cut this cake here. Mm, it looks delicious. I'm gonna try this. I gotta try it. Mmm. It's nice and moist and fruity and cinnamony and delicious. I eat this sandwich. I'm gonna take a taste. Look at that. Hold on, Louise. Get that good. Let me taste it. Mmm. I think I want this sandwich, but I don't do the cake. Why? Mm -hmm. So it's just the eggs are soft and creamy, and the bread is soft, but it's crunchy. Mmm. I wish I could get a bite of that. What about the mimosa? Okay. Now I'm about to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you want that? Yeah. You can have it. 
It's right now. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, you want you want to drink some of this? Oh, of course. Why why not? Mm. Oh, okay. Here, here, here. Let's do a toast. To heavenly plates. That didn't, it didn't rain. Come on, let's do it. Let's see if it's oh, shit. No. <laughs> Nice and fruity, the uh, alcohol isn't too overpowering, and the um, champagne has still has like that nice little bubbly fizz to it. This mimosa, you better try it. You can mix any of the alcohols that you like. I just used what I had. I put some rum and some uh, Contru and tequila, and I'm drunk. Me too. I'm good and drunk already. And, and this is just delicious. So you want to try it. For all of you out there, you know I have a YouTube channel. I want you all to subscribe and share my videos because I'm having a good time. We're going to get drunk. We're going to eat some good food and just love life. So here we have it. The Heavenly Place Brunch. The uh, grill, the cream egg grilled cheese. We have a fruit cup here. This raspberry uh, crumb cake and these mimosas and this bread that I baked. And I just did it all for you. I'm happy. I love it. I'm drunk. And you all, if you want these recipes, please subscribe to my YouTube and uh, share my videos. And you'll see more of Chef Celeste. For now, Chef Celeste in and out. Yeah, that.